This is the Avalon guest house in Tintagel and just outside the window I can see the uh, um, National Trust Tintagel Castle. So we're in this room, it's quite posh, uh, quite a nice um, room, there's plenty of space, it's a standard size double bed, there's a, there's a wardrobe, and there's a bathroom, well, a shower room, there's a shower, shower, and um, the usual facilities, toilet, so it is quite nice, it's, um, it's only one night tonight, uh, last night was where I was, and uh, I'm moving on after breakfast, so it's quite reasonable, there's only one drawback that uh, we have with this, which is the fact that um, we're on the very, very top floor, so it is not um, accessible in any way. Um, so I strolled up. Let me put that down so you can see me. So I strolled up uh, two flights of stairs um, to get to this room, and uh, the manager owner seem to think that uh, there was something on booking.com which is where I booked it he seems to think that there was something on there saying that they were um, inaccessible and steps were uh, included in the problem so I went back on to have a look and unless I'm not reading it right I didn't find anything on there saying that there were steps and things like this and uh, probably not suitable for disabled people so you have to check again uh, but as far as I could tell there was nothing on there I mean I know I know I didn't spend much time looking for hotels like I wanted to book one straight away because I had to book it for three days so I, I booked three different venues uh, we can see the sea which is quite nice from here we are on the on the very coast, it's Tintagel, uh, North Cornwall. Um, part of my my Cornwall capers, my cavorting in Cornwall, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, my Cornish capers, um, my second night uh, in episode one and episode two. So we're here and uh, I must say the TV is rather small. And awkwardly, you know, if you're sat on the bed, then watching the TV is quite tricky because the bed, the bed is here. And the TV's up there. There's a table. But they don't give you a pen to write with. Um, they do actually ask you to fill in a little slip which tells them about breakfast today. As you can see, that's the, the view out the window. I don't know if I can open this window. I should have done that last night. It was very, very hot, basically. And there's the car park down there. And, uh, yeah. There's a horse. He's probably a bit horse, I think. Oh, he's having a bit of a run. Right, okay, so... That is the Avalon, Avalon Guest House. In Tintagel. So I'm just going to give you a quick update on the Avalon Hotel. In Tintagel. Uh, when I was making the video this morning and um, looking around the room and then I had a, a long chat with the owner, a uh, very nice chap, 
only just taken over. It's only been there for two months now. Um, so hoping to encourage people to come and stay. And it is a very high quality standard there. Um, the rooms and the bathroom and everything else is all immaculate. They provide everything and if you need something they will just ask. The, the breakfast is substantial and freshly cooked and uh, very enjoyable I must say and you can have whatever you like uh, including you know, the usual coffee, tea, cereal, things like that. So it's well worth it, well worth it. And for the for the price that I paid for one night in in the location that it was, then brilliant. Now the only downside was sort of the fact that it was on the top floor. Now I booked it through Booking dot com, um, and I didn't, didn't really look that hard, and I did try to send them. Um, a message, I normally do that, normally send a message saying, you know, prefer ground floor if at all possible. But for some reason the message didn't didn't send. So they never received it. They don't have a ground floor um, bedroom. So he told me that he would put people on the first floor if possible. So it's only one flight of steps. And it's not too bad. I mean, two and a half flights of steps for me. I was knackered, but I made it, and the room was lovely. Bed, bed was comfortable. Um, you know, everything was really good, high quality. And like I say, I think that there was some discussion with him about whether this was listed on the um, on the Booking.com as being fairly difficult. Um, and I had, a, I had a look again to see if it was, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm sure it is. I'm not going to disbelieve anybody. But to be fair, that building, there's no way that you're going to be able to change it anyway. Um, so unless you are fairly mobile, then the hotel's not going to be suitable for you, especially wheelchairs. And uh, you know, there is actually a wheelchair accessible um, B and B in the local pub, King Arthur's Arms. So they have they have B and B there that you will be able to, and they advertise it outside on a big board, which uh, says you know, and even shows you pictures of the accessible bathroom. However, the Avalon, very very good. I mean, the only problem I, that I had was my own fault. Um, and I'm really, really upset about it. But it's not the the owner's fault. It's my fault because as I was pulling in to the driveway, it's a very narrow driveway, and unfortunately, um, made of stone on both sides, very, very narrow. And as you turn into the driveway, it sort of went a bit of an error. And um, so, as you can see. Looks like I've got an insurance claim. However, having said that, I can highly recommend the Avalon Hotel. It's very, very good. 